Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. This is Java FX tutorial. And guys, in this video tutorial, we will learn how to use check combo box in Java FX application. Right here, you can see a demo is running on my machine, and this is the NetBeans IDE. Here, I have created the FXML based project. So, right here, you can see this is the combo box and uh, this combo box has multiple items but we have the check box just against the item so we have this arrangement we can select or unselect the item by doing click with the mouse so guys this is the very good arrangement and we can use in our application okay guys okay so suppose you are using this item uh, combo box in your application but you must have to fetch the selected item so what you will do so i will tell you how you can fetch the items from this check combo box so the same arrangement made here to explain you now i will show you so i just clicked on this button and you can see the selected items printed in the console <laughs> okay one more time we will see i will do some i will clean up this thing for the clarification now just click here so i'm selecting the item one six eight and ten okay items are selected now i will click on this so there's a code behind this click action on this button so once you click so the selected item will be printed on the console so i will explain all these stuff here in this tutorial guys are you ready let's get started okay first i will close this stage and uh, we will start from here this is the project and uh, this is the fxml based project so we have uh, as usual these three files fxml controller and the main file and here guys uh, one important things we are using check combo box which is the control coming from the control fx api so you have to download the control fx and you have to add in your java fx project so you have to do the right click on the project go to the properties and uh, come here in the libraries option and uh, here you can see i have uh, added this control fx so guys you can get the link from the description just download that control fx and add in your Java FX project and continue with this tutorial okay now coming back here so I will show you the FXML first what arrangement we have made to demonstrate this example so this is the scene builder if you guys watching uh, my channel first time and you are not aware about this uh, scene builder guys I want to tell you this is the glue on scene builder you can uh, download this scene builder by taking the link from the description and uh, you can use this this is also a free wear so this is the arrangement i have made to demonstrate there's a simple uh, a check combo box but uh, you have to add this combo box here so go to here okay in the so if you have not downloaded so please download this uh, glue on scene builder and download the control fx jar okay and come here add this uh, gear icon and come to this uh, jr fxml manager click on it and uh, come here and you have to add the control fx jar at this place so you have to select the control fx by clicking on this and just navigate to the path where you have downloaded the control fx dot jar and select that and open that jar here and you will see all the components all the controls provided by the control fx will be listed here and uh, system will ask you to cl click uh, ok so once you click OK, all the components will be added here. OK, and the controls will be added here in this uh, custom section. Once you add, you can uh, click here and you can notice that 
the components are added like uh, check combo box check list view check tree view and color grid cell and so on so we have uh, this control after adding the control effects jar in this uh, scene builder okay then uh, i have used one anchor pane as a base pan then i have added a pane to make this header just for uh, demonstration and the main component is check combo box so i have selected the check combo box from this place and just drag and drop on this stage okay okay and uh, i have used one button for to fetch the selected item and uh, that will be printed on the console once we click on this button okay guys so one more important thing we have done with this combo box so come here in the code section and assign one fx id to this one okay and uh, for this button we have uh, created one handler method action handler method so this is the action handler method for this button okay so only these things we have done here in the fxml and scene builder i hope this is clear to you if you have any doubt so please comment in the section okay guys so i'm going back here in the dead beans id and uh, we will look here in the controller file this is the main file where we have done the complete coding for all so guys this is as usual uh, statement added fxml to access the instance of a check combo box and this is the fx id for the check combo box that we have given in the fxml and uh, this is the button click action method okay so i will explain this thing okay so first i will explain uh, what we have done inside the initialize method so this is the initialize method that will be called once the system will load the fxml okay so the activity we are doing here we are just adding some item inside the combo box as you have seen uh, initially that the 10 items were there in the combo box so we are creating the items and adding inside the combo box so we have just simply created an observable list type string and uh, this is the fx collections and using this method observable array list okay and after that uh, we executed one loop up to 10 and we have added okay 10 items and uh, 10 items ready inside this observable list okay then we have used the this object reference check combo box dot get items dot add all and we have just passed the collection okay so at this line we have added 10 items inside the check combo box okay now combo box has items ready okay so this arrangement done here and uh, now we will see once we click on this button so we have to fetch the selected item by the user and we will print this on the console so i think this is clear to you now we will see the code this is very simple and straightforward code you have to write simple statement create the object of uh, object reference of observable list and use this um, object reference of check combo box dot get checked model dot get checked items so this will return the selected item inside the check combo box okay and you will get this list ready to further use okay come to the next line here we have simply created a loop and uh, we uh, traversing on the list and just fetching the selected item and uh, doing uh, system dot out dot print ln and uh, printing this thing on the console okay so this is the object dot to string so converting uh, the generic type into the string so checked 
items will be printed on the console so guys this is the basic very simple arrangement that we have done here i hope all these steps are clear to you you can see consolidated code here so in the initialize method we have done these arrangements we have created the items added inside the combo box and on the button click we have just fetching the selected item with the help of this statement so guys uh, i will run this example one more time so you can correlate the all these concepts okay guys build is successful now we are ready to run this here we are we got this stage and uh, we are ready to test so this is the drop down and i will select some item item 2 3 1 2 3 and 6 and now i will click on this uh, get selected items and guys you can see the selected item 1 2 3 6 printed on the console fetched successfully by the code and printed on the console so guys this is the way you can use the check combo box in your javafx application and uh, here i have described the way you can fetch the selected item and you can print on the console or you can further use the selected items i hope all these concepts are clear to you if you still have any doubts so please comment i will try my best to reply as soon as possible and guys if you found this video useful so please like share and subscribe my channel and guys if you want the notification so please press the bell icon and you will get the notification of latest video tutorials from my channel and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help